Hi everybody, welcome to my new DVD, In Constant Motion. What I'm going to be covering in this package is going to um, cover a wide range of aspects of drumming. Not just the physical and technical side, but also the creative side, and that's a, a really important thing to me. That's what I wanted to cover with this DVD. I wanted to give you, the viewer, fellow drummer, musician, some insight as to how I kind of function. Uh, you will be able to get a lot of insight to the drumming. Absolutely, there's going to be an immense amount of footage of me live on stage, in the studio, breaking down parts, and it'll give you a chance to sit behind the kit with me, watch what what, what I'm doing with my body, with my four limbs, you know, break down the parts, there will be a lot of that. But I also really wanted to cover a lot of other ground as well and give you some insight. So even if you're not a drummer, even if you're a musician in general, a guitar player, bass player, keyboard player, I think there'll be something in this package that will appeal and apply to what you do. phrase in constant motion definitely applies to me as well beyond the drums because I am absolutely a workaholic and through my 20 years in dream theater uh, my job has gone way beyond the drum set uh, in fact you know when I'm playing drums it's just a, a small fraction of, of what I do in the band I'm one of the co-songwriters and arrangers I'm one of the lyricists in the band I produce the CDs I direct the DVDs I design the merchandise, I design the artwork and the album layouts, uh, writing the set lists live, overseeing the websites and the fan clubs. It's just a constant 24-7 job, and my wheels are always in motion. I'll lay in bed 3 in the morning just thinking of things and how to apply the different parts of what I do to the different aspects of, of the band and you know, constantly trying to, to give as much as possible to the fans. <laughs> So uh, the first pattern is uh, four sets of six on uh, four. It's four sets of a six pattern with four on top, two on the bass drum. However, the fourth uh, is only the four on top. So it's four on top, two in the bottom, four, two, four, two, and four. So let me play it for you at normal speed and then slow. It's then followed by uh, a triplet pattern, uh, basically um, sixes, once again, um, basically played six on the snare, six uh, on the, the, the max stacks with the kick drums, doubling it, and then another set on the snare. So, let me play it for you. Then the fill is concluded with just a very simple uh, four-beat eighth note pattern uh, just to set up the next feel. So out of all this crazy, the, this crazy fill and everything like that, it kind of changes from the quick triplets to kind of a straight eighth note feel to set up the, uh, the, the bit that's to follow. So basically it's just a, a four-beat, bum, 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 bum. Well, five if you count the downbeat. <laughs> So now let me put the whole thing together. Um, I'll play at normal speed and then I'll break it down slowly and you can hear the whole thing put together.
So there you have it. Just a little taste of uh, what went into some of the drum parts for Glass Prison. Two thousand three's train of thought. Uh, that was a, a fun album to make. It was definitely a, a conscious effort to make a, a heavy album from start to finish. Every song was heavy and strong, and you know, uh, we, we, always on tour, we could feel the energy in the audience for certain songs, and we wanted to make an album where every one of those songs was going to have that energy. So we actually wrote the train of thought album in New York City in a rehearsal st space over the course of three weeks or so. Um, and, uh, and then we moved into, uh, we went out to Long Island and recorded in a few different cities on Long Island. And basically at that point, uh, because the album was written, I actually tracked all of my drums at the start of the session, which is something I hadn't done in years. And uh, basically, you know, over the course of 10 days or so, I knocked out my drums and then the rest of the, the session, I, as the co-producer of all of our albums, I was there you know, every step of the way in the producer's chair, overseeing every other aspect. But my drums for that album were, were over and done with pretty early. And then I moved on with the creative process.